It's you. The uncultured swine of the Neelut Pala Cup. Hey, you potty mouth! What's your problem? The way you dote on your fungi. It's pathetic! <laughs> what a joke! You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all. The mighty Hania. Greatest beast tamer of all? <laughs> That's debatable. You keep telling yourself that. You were never going to come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. <laughs> Front line and take them down. Trains my fungi non-stop! Maybe I should have been harder on them! <sighs> well, we beat him. But somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate. Traveler, Paimon, I made it through. That's amazing, Leila! You reached your goal! I heard you won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. How come? It's just that... Oh, he was really mean. He said some weird things. See what you mean. Yeah, somehow beast teamers like him make me feel a little uh, sad. Yeah, he clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like based on a vague impression and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it too if she knew. Also, He's so cruel to his shroom buddies when they could have been friends. Hmm. It's not just his loss either. It brings all the other contestants down. Right! You have the right mindset, Layla. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. That's all. Oh, looks like the next fight is you against me. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't matter who wins, this is just a little contest between friends. Alright, time to see who's the strongest fungi! Twirly Whirly or Bongo Head? Loser buys dinner for the winner! Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Miko! You're back! Finally! You stuck off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... Um... Um... <laughs> Evidently, we have some things to discuss with you. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. 
Yeah, who knew it'd get to this point? Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. Look on the bright side. Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania. But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves. Eh, whatever. Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose. weathered plenty of tough challenges already, and they know how to put up a good fight. So you and your shroom buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly! Hang in there, Twirly! You can still do this! Twirly Whirly. <laughs> that was a real blast. I loved it. Thank you all. Twirly Whirly and I went out with a bang. Any other opponent, and we might be feeling a little disappointed right now. But we were definitely beaten by the best. You did really well too, you know. Felt like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo. Just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win? It was a good feeling. If only every match could be as carefree as that! Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her! Let's go see how she's doing! Your match is over, too? You took your time. I'm assuming it was a close call. You sound way too relaxed for someone who just fought in the semifinals. Bet it was a walk in the park, huh? <laughs> yes. Ours was as far from a close call as you could get. All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I... ...to be beaten by Hania. Huh? What? You think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? 
That said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination then? I look forward to finding out. That's not your concern. Running away so soon? Miss Yai lost the match, but why is Hania the one who seemed upset? The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro one soon after the match started, and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. You mean, Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be? So she does care about Pyro one! But she didn't mean to show it in front of you! Right answer. Now's our chance to get through to her. You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. But Hania's long gone now! Where should we look for her? Well, right now, I'm sure she must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. The answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? Good point! It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed. Layla, it seems like you're on to something. Let's catch up with Hania and set things straight. You should stay here, little Layla. I understand that you want to help Hania, but she's not the kind of person you're good at dealing with. Leave it to them this time. That's true. And if I said something that struck a nerve again, I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. Uh, if I tag along, I'd probably need to stop and gather my strength every ten minutes. Well, what are you waiting for, little one? Oh, my, you've been busier than I thought. In return, I give you a blessing from me. Good luck. I'll share my thoughts the next time we meet. How did you find me here? We followed Pyro One's tracks. We're a little worried about you. Wait a second. Are you comforting Pyro One? The irony, I know. And I'd probably be enjoying it if Pyro One were any other animal than a fungi. The next time we meet, we'll be in the finals. Whatever you have to say, save it for if you beat me. The fox lady said you might say that. You're pure of heart, kind, and believe the best in things. You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. So, here, read this. Uh, what is it?
These are my ancestors' records. They were attacked by a horde of fungi in the rainforest. Many people were seriously injured. There was nothing exceptional about this incident at the time, and it certainly never made it into any official records. But my family have been reading it to me since I was a child, constantly warning me of the grave threat that fungi pose to us. So, that's what happened. Oh, no wonder you're so hostile towards fungi. Yeah, and anyway, doesn't your family's experience make this tournament all the more meaningful? The Wisdom Orb finally means that humans and fungi can live in peace together. It's not as simple as turning bad fungi into nice fungi with the Wisdom Orb. Plenty of scholars have experimented with similar things in my village in the past. But every one of them failed, gave up, and moved on. Even this new Wisdom Orb can only suppress the fungi's aggressive nature temporarily. Without this device, they're still extremely dangerous creatures. On top of that, the orb's intellectual boost makes the fungi unnaturally strong. Too much elemental energy in one place is not a good idea, especially for people in poor shape already. If you've got a sensitive constitution and you start using a wisdom orb, you're gonna start experiencing symptoms pretty quickly. Wait, Layla's been coughing a lot lately. Could that be because of the wisdom orb? As you'll be well aware by now, all Caltilia cares about is his precious research. He just wants to expand his influence and increase the profile of the Beast Tamer event. Meanwhile, Al Hingen's taking advantage of the situation. Impressed by Cautilia's research, he invested a huge sum into promoting the tournament, consequently lowering everyone's guard against the fungi. I don't trust either of them, period. I don't believe highly aggressive creatures like the fungi can coexist with humans. But I'm just another retired mercenary, so who's gonna listen to me? All I can do is play by their rules until victory is mine. Then I'll fight for the outcome I'm hoping for, and keep them from getting their way. I initially had a sliver of hope that you might help me in my endeavors. Guess that was pretty naive of me. But it doesn't matter what you think about all this, or what you think of me. I'm going to beat you, and then there will be nothing you can do to stop me. This notebook is just a relic from my past now. Do whatever you want with it. Because come the day of the final, I'm going to declare the execution of all fungi. Including Pyro One. It's time to say goodbye to the past. That didn't go as planned. Well, there's only one option left. We gotta defeat Hania in the final match! Didn't Hania mention something about other researchers in the past trying to stop the damage caused by fungi too? There should be more information in this notebook. Let's take a look. Like, research notes. Guess Hania's ancestors kept them after the scholars left. Whew. This section looks super complicated. The handwriting is really bad, and there are too many technical terms. Paimon can't make heads or tails of this. Wait. Some of these look familiar, though. Oh, that's right. We saw them on the documents Dory gave us. Alright, let's put them side by side, go through carefully, and try to figure out what's written in these notes.
nurturing device and a withering potion. So that's how it went down. The fungi only attacked Hania's ancestors because of what that potion did to them. And then the researchers built that device to try and capture the angry fungi. Also, if floral jelly is just an improved version of the withering potion, and the wisdom orb isn't Cautilia's invention either, he's basically giving someone else's invention a new name and passing them off as his own! He's a big fat liar! Why is Cautilia so eager to get people to use the wisdom orb anyway? We gotta warn El Hingen. He needs to stop bankrolling Caltilia right away! As for Hania, she has no idea that the fungi only attacked her ancestors because they were under the potion's influence. No wonder she holds it against them. Bongo head, Hyman knows you're not gonna turn evil because of some floral jelly. You stayed a very good fungus even after we turned off the wisdom orb. Whoa, you can understand what Paimon's saying? Oh, wow, you're getting smarter. Huh? Since when? Oh, Paimon didn't even notice. Choice right now? See, see, Hania was wrong after all. The fungi aren't gonna lose control this time. Some fungi understand people and just want to get along, like Bongo Head here. Oh, Hania did make one good point though. The wisdom orb has its limits. As long as that's the case, fungi won't be able to live with humans forever. I was really hoping Bongo Head could join us for the rest of our journey. Isn't there a way? Yeah, it's a shame, but it seems like there's no other choice. Hmm. We still have some time before the final. Should we report Cautilia to the Academia? True. For him to have made it this far, he must have been planning for a long time. If he caught wind of our plans to expose him, he'd definitely be wary of us. Whatever else happens, we have to give it our all on the day of the final. Let's beat Hania and knock some sense into her. Then, we should get El Hingit to help us expose Cautilia for the fraud he 